You may remember this story that garnered worldwide attention. It involved a young Minnesota mother's fight to get her son back who had HIV. Three years ago, Mauer County removed baby Rico from his home after doctors worried that his parents would not give him his medication. His mom, Lindsay Nagel, was taken off the same medication as a child, and she thrived. But Lindsay died a few months ago. For the first time, her parents are sharing what happened. WC Sales' Liz Collin has the sad ending to a health and custody fight that no one wanted to see. You know, I would always say, you know, we'll get through this. Their sadness has been in the spotlight before. When they adopted their only child from Romania in 1990, Cheryl and Steve Nagel learned Lindsay had HIV. She was put on powerful medication until severe side effects forced them to stop. Of 12 Minnesota children with HIV at that time, medical reports say Lindsay was the sole survivor. In 2012, Lindsay had a baby of her own. For now, the child's going to be placed in protective custody. Uh, Mauer County became involved when the family canceled two of Rico's doctor's appointments after he was born. Two months later, they got Rico back, but the county oversaw the case and Rico's care for the more than year and a half that followed. It was a real struggle for the last two and a half years. Lindsay got sick the following year. Her family believes from all the pressure and stress. She went back on HIV medication, fought through pneumonia and pancreatitis. I mean, this poor kid sat literally on the edge of a hospital bed for about seven months, just bent over, screaming, I can't do this anymore. But her immune system couldn't hold up to a bacterial infection. She died in August at the age of 24. Lindsay was my sole daughter, and we were really close. In silence for months after losing the daughter, doctors once considered a miracle. The Nagels told me this ordeal has cost them $150,000 just in court costs. They haven't been able to work for the last two years, giving around the clock care first to Rico and then to Lindsay. A spokesperson for Mauer County said child protection could not comment on this case due to privacy laws. Frank. Ordeal's a good word. Um, where's Rico? Who's he with? How's he doing? Yeah, of course, that's another uh, piece to this whole thing. Rico is now being cared for by his father, who told me today that he is doing well. And Rico has been on HIV medication since he was born. Just very sad. Yeah, well, we wish him well. We do. Okay, thanks.